on TNT. Brought to you by BBVA. Make the difficult look simple with BBVA Compass Anywhere Banking. By KFC. So many ways to KFC. How do you KFC? By Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. And by Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. Welcome back to Los Angeles, where the Lakers are bringing a lot of energy early. They currently have a seven-point lead. And welcome down to the sideline, everyone. I'm Rebecca Harlow. I want to bring you up to speed on a couple of injuries. Let's start with Steve Nash. He has been in and out of the lineup for the Lakers over the past week. He's still dealing with significant pain associated with the nerve damage. When I spoke to him this morning, he said, it's really frustrating because one day I can feel great. The next day, I feel like I can't move. However, he did say he's not ready to retire. He feels like he can fight his way back into the lineup after the All-Star break. And as for Russell Westbrook, a return for him is near. His explosiveness is back. This week, has been, he's been able to dunk that ball in practice. Now, in terms of contact, he's not tested much there, mostly because the Thunder haven't been practicing a whole lot, mostly just walkthroughs for them. But a goal is to return next week versus Miami. If that happens, the philosophy there is that he has one more week to continue to build strength. So, Kevin, return here for Westbrook. Good stuff, Rebecca. Thank you. Westbrook, Mike, had missed a regular season game until this season. Was so durable up to that injury, yes. and uh, now all of a sudden they're coming in bunches for him. And Ibaka was taking it inside. Ball knocked away. After that break, there were no changes either way. He's been a, a great teammate, particularly to Reggie Jackson, who he's kind of taken under his arm during timeouts. You'll see him sit with Reggie Jackson, meet him outside the huddle to give him some advice. And Durant has now got four for the Thunder. Three and a half game lead on second place San Antonio in the Western Conference with a second turnover right there. This is the number one record in the NBA. And Mike, Oklahoma City comes in with the second best road record. So they have really found the great combination, again, all in the absence of a great all-star in Russell Westbrook. Well, this last stretch has been a 14-2 run for them, which obviously some are at home, some on the road, but they are playing with tremendous confidence right now. Reggie Jackson, a slow start up in Portland the other night, but finished strong. Ibaka cleaning up, putting it in. 6 nothing run by the Thunder, and here comes Blake, who missed some time with torn ligaments in his right elbow. Marshall, the three. He's one of the top three-point shooters in the NBA, and the Thunder the other way. I think Ibaka should have received maybe a little more consideration as far as the All-Star team game. We've got one player between these two teams going to the All-Star game. We've got the best team record-wise in the NBA, and that guy, Kevin Durant, is the only All-Star performer. Well, for the Lakers, you can understand why. Yes. They haven't had enough guys in uniform who are their top guys to qualify for it. And when you look at Oklahoma City, I, I honestly thought that Ibaka might have a shot from the coaches. How about that? No participants from the Lakers in All-Star weekend. A miss right there. By Kim. What do you think the last time that was that a Laker uniform was not worn at an NBA All-Star game? It's going to be for a long, a long time. Long time, yeah. yeah. There's a turnover halfway through. That's the third turnover by the Thunder so far. Blake, Kamen, Williams, who was uh, there with the ball moments ago, was on a 10-day contract, which expires this weekend. Tony was kind of interesting when he described his fast break nowadays, wasn't it? Yes, he was. <laughs> it's not quite full speed the way, <laughs> the way you hear about it. In a five-gear uh, situation, probably getting maybe second, perhaps third. But right now, it is a work in progress, which is tough, Mike, because you have very little practice time. Like, for instance, yesterday on an off day, they could not practice. They didn't have enough healthy players. Health the most important thing, you have you guys on the floor at game time when you need it. So some days you have to give up on practice. Ah! Nice pass by Cephalosia. Ibaka couldn't clean it up. Williams, the three. Now a lot of coaches couldn't live with that shot. Pitch ahead pass, pitch it ahead 20, 25 feet. Stop, catch, shoot a three. Mike D'Antoni has no problem with that. That's part of his belief. Miss right there by Durant and picked up by Blake. Not at 100%, but when he left, when he was injured back in December, 
That restored those uh, ligaments, of course, out for a while, but when he was in, he was in the top 10 in assists at three by Steve. And you can see him laboring when he puts up that shot. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the feel in the arm right now. Just hasn't gotten back to where it needs to be. And it, it plays games with his mind. Six points for Kevin Durant. This is uh, an Oklahoma City team. Only team in the NBA in the top five in offense and defense. A third, make it second knockaway. Watch shot by Perkins. It's a three, and it's put in. Put from outside. Great pass that time by Kane across the floor. He got a shot rejected, didn't give up on it, chased it down, looked opposite, found his teammate wide open. Here comes Jackson, the drive into Kanan. And he keeps it alive with an aggressive style and buys another shot clock for the Thunder. Here is Sefalosha putting in a three for Oklahoma City. Tabo Sefalosha, who is shooting 33% from beyond the arc this season. Don't be confident. Marshall with the drive. Another rejection. That one counts though for two. Got it right there. Six point. Laker advantage. Marshall thinks he's got a clear path to the basket. There you saw him peek across. Could I get it up quick enough before Ibaka came over? That was his decision. Approaching three and a half to play here in the first quarter. So, so far, Marshall has put in seven for the Lakers. Six for Durant on the move. That won't go. Blake will come out the other way with the Williams rebound for Los Angeles. And Kanan, who has put together a string of some very, very good games, including a 25-point, 14-rebound, four-assist game here Tuesday against Utah. Zafalosha and Ibaka with Williams defending and a Kanan rebound. Kanan could be one of the guys with the trade deadline approaching on February 20th. Yeah, that some of the Eagles might have some interest in if you don't have a, a big man because he can play down in that low post area as excellent footwork can score with his back to the basket. There's the league's leading scorer in Kevin Durant with six here in the first quarter in the Staples Center. You're watching the NBA on TNT.